Hi everyone and welcome. Today we will be showing you how SociLead Collector works. This is a cool application you can use to gather leads in Facebook. So we are now on the dashboard and as you can see we have different functionalities we can use on the left hand portion of the screen. We have search page and group, search group members, scan posts, post interaction, and get user info, which we will be going through one by one on this video. Before we start, please take note that if you're using this application for the first time, the system will ask for your Facebook login credential, so make sure you have it ready. Okay, so let us go to the first segment, which is search page and group. Once you click on that, it will require you to enter a keyword. All you have to do is to type in a keyword you're looking for. So let's say I'd like to search for um, topics about dogs. Then after that, choose if you want to search through Facebook pages or Facebook groups. After that, click on Start. The system will then provide you all the list below, including each group's Facebook ID, as well as the number of each member. Now, let's try to search the same keyword for a page. Let's click on Clear All, and then click on Search Page. Then after that, click on Start again. It is now showing us different pages regarding our selected topic. Then here you will also get all the information including physical address and email address or phone number if available. Now, if you want to check on a particular group or page in Facebook, you can easily do that by copying the ID number. So let's say I'd like to search for this one. All you have to do is to copy the ID number and then open, open up a browser. And then here you can simply type in Facebook dot com forward slash and then paste the ID number then click on enter as you can see the system automatically directed us to that particular page that we have searched we are now back on our social lead collector application now one of the cool functionality of this software is that it will allow you to actually export a CSV file you can save in your computer for the results showing below. So if you want to do that, just click on export and then there. The system will be able to give you an option to save a CSV file document of um, the result of the topic that you have searched. Just click on save to save this file. Now let's move on to the next segment, the search group member. You can use this functionality to search for members of a particular Facebook group. All you have to do is to copy the selected Facebook group ID from the search page and group segment. So let's say I'd like to search for um, the members of this particular group. All I have to do is to click on or copy the ID number and then go to the search group members and then you can paste the group ID here. Now you may also choose to filter the results. If you want the system to show group members that has email or phone number, just put a check mark on the tick box below. Now if you want the system to just provide you all the results, you can just leave it as it is and then click on the start button. After that, the system will show you all the information of each member of that particular group. And same thing, you can also save a CSV file. Just click on the export button. That is right here. You can also check on the previous post made within a particular page or Facebook group. All you have to do is to go to the scan post segment and here it will be requiring you to provide the page ID of that particular group. So to get that, just go back to the search page and group and then select the particular group you would like to search on. So let's say I'd like to search for this particular group. Just copy the page ID, then go back to the scan post segment and then here just paste the page ID. And uh, 
you can also select a particular number of days for the system to scan the post that was made for that group. So let's say I'd like to search for uh, the last post for the last three days. So just put in three and then click on start. As you can see, the system provided us the post within the last three days made within that particular group. Please take note, however, that if you are using the scan post segment and you weren't able to get any result, that means that that particular group is a closed group. So you need to join that group first before you'll be able to get more information about it. Now we have just finished talking about the scan post segment. Now let's go to the post interaction segment. Now when you click on that, the system will ask for the post ID. So all you have to do to get more information regarding that post, go back to the scan post segment. And here you can just copy the post ID of uh, the particular entry that you would like to check more information on. So let's say this one. All I have to do is to copy this and then go back to the post interaction segment and then paste the post ID right here. And then after that, just click on start. As you can see, you'll be able to check on the post ID, which is the same as what we entered on top, as well as the username and the name of the people who actually reacted or uh, post comments on the post that we have just checked. So if you want to check on more information regarding this particular user, all you have to do is to click or copy the user ID and then go to uh, facebook.com then forward slash and then just paste it. And uh, the system will show you the or give you the profile information or the profile page of the person. Now, same as the other segments, you can also export this by clicking on the export button and you can save a CSV file in your computer. There's actually another way to get more information regarding the user that reacted on the post that we have searched. Now, other than what we mentioned a while ago that you can just open up your browser and then type in facebook.com forward slash and then just paste the user ID of that particular person. You can also do that using social lead collector application. All you have to do is to, of course, copy the user ID of that particular person. And then just go to get user info segment. And here, as you can see, it is asking for the user ID. So let's just paste it here. And you will have, or you will also have an option to use or to actually choose for the system to show user basic info or their friends or the the friends of that particular user so let's say i'd like to check on her basic info so just uh make sure to put mark here and then click on start the system will then generate all available information regarding that uh, user. So, of course, we have the user ID. That's the default user ID given by Facebook. We have the full name of that person. And if he provided his birth date, email address, gender, location, and phone number, it will also give you that detail here. Now, since this information doesn't have birth date, email, and phone number, that means that that person did not fill out um, that information on his Facebook account. So all we have is the gender and his location. Now let's go ahead and try to check on the friend of user option. So all you have to do is to, of course, clear all so the system will be able to refresh. And then just put mark on friend of user and then click on start. As you can see, the system is generating the list of the friends or the list of friends of that particular user that we have just searched on. Now, you, same thing as the other segment, you can also save 
um, a CSV file of this data by clicking on the export button right here. So that's basically it. That's how you use Social Lead Collector application. It is very easy to use and it will be able to help you not only by extracting and collecting leads from Facebook, it will also help you check on posts of different people within your niche.